good day. Good day. Here you go. Let's go. I have to wait. Pick a camera. I'm going to see how this is. Like pretty much. I'm going to flip it around. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get over there. We'll pick a camera. We'll get all four of us in the camera. I'll see you on this one. What are we doing? Am I here? Am I there? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I looking? Am I good? You're looking perfect. Good. All right. This is a four man split screen. We're going to do two players. We're going to have uh, actually Nate and Rick playing against each other. And Bobby C and I are going to play each other. So we're going to see how this works out. All the audio will be matched up and you'll be uh, understood what, why we're waiting on each other. Right on. Game on. All right, welcome. Like I said, uh, Bobby C will be on pit one uh, against myself, Quicksilver, the head psycho. And on pit two, we have Rick, the double flip master. And Rick will be facing off against Nate, new player, fresh meat. <laughs> So this is uh, sort of my nightmare. It's a, uh, it's, I did this on iMovie. I ed edited this on iMovie. And it's probably one of the longest edits that I've ever done before. It's a lot of... Uh, it's not very hard. It's just time consuming. Because <clears throat> each screen has to be uh, done individually. <coughs> Bobby, start, Bobby C starts out... Uh, Kicking my butt right there. <laughs> I wanted to try this because a lot of times you hear, you, you see, like you would be watching uh, Rick and Nate play, but you would be hearing me and Bobby C talking, and it's like, now you can see everything. And if you get bored with us walking back and forth, you can jump down and watch the uh, watch the game that's, being played on the bottom and while they're walking around messing with the scoreboard you can uh, look at the top and watch us play so <clears throat> and like always I have the visible very visible scoreboards <clears throat> gotta get Bobby C back Got my three points plus an extra three. So I feel vindicated for that. There's Jeff Gustison. This is, uh, by the way, this is the uh, Beloit Horseshoe Club, if you guys are wondering. That is in Beloit, Wisconsin. Nate has only been throwing uh, for, I think, since 2019, maybe around June. So he's uh, he's progressed quickly with his game. He does have a he does have a problem with not following through though. He's got that low, sh almost shooting from the hip kind of shotgun just snaps it right from uh, waist level and I don't no, that was a little higher and it went there <clears throat> so he's just got to keep re keep uh, reminding himself to to follow through with that shoe that follow through there's Dave Quaid <clears throat> and I can't remember that dog's name <laughs> Yeah, this weekend was uh, Skip's Fun Day. Invited a bunch of people, but uh, there's a lot of people that didn't show up. There's like, uh, I think, a total of about 12, 12 players and a few ladies. 
So I think we had about uh, 14 people here. There was supposed to be a lot more, but uh, the weather was horrible. Freezing drizzle, turned to ice, turned to snow, turned to back to ice. It's like, it's just really horrible. So people did not show up. Through all that chit chat, and look at me. I actually am I'm beating Bobby C so far. I had some real problems to, uh, on this on this day. It just felt like I did not have full control of uh, my muscles, my aiming muscles. It just it just felt loose. Felt like my uh, felt like my arm wandered a lot. Just need to need to step up my practicing. I gotta get uh, gotta do something to to pitch more. <clears throat> And days like this, going to Beloit and pitching for, I think it was six or six or seven hours. It was uh, the seven hours from eight eight till about three. Actually, I think it was almost four, so so maybe eight hours. Eight hours of uh, practice. At the end of the day, I was definitely tired. I just got, just wanted to get the hell out of there. There was no one more game, one more game. What I usually do is run around, see who else wants to play. I was just, I was done. I wanted to get out of there. So I definitely had, uh, threw a lot of shoes. I'd venture to say over uh, two, two tournaments, played at 28. 28 points, so I can't really count the shoes, but I'm venturing to say at least four to 500 shoes, maybe 600. <clears throat> hey, you can go on, uh, go on YouTube there, here and search Quicksilver Corn Fest. And even put Bobby C in there and put finals on there, and you'll see uh, Bobby C uh, won the finals, uh, I think, in 2018. And then uh, in 2019, I made it to the finals and lost to uh, Ray and Ken, Ken Heinrichs. He is a professional. He's a, definitely a top 100 uh, pitcher. I think he's probably all, all made it up to the I would I would guess the top twenty pitchers of the in the uh, in the world, and he's definitely made it into the top sixteen in a world tournament I I saw. So he can definitely pitch, and uh, that's who I played against in the finals and beat him once, but uh, had to beat him, had to double dip him. <clears throat> actually, I think we we actually won the uh, best two out of three. And then we went to go double dip them, and we and we lost. But we did we did all right. We uh, we showed up. <coughs> Bobby C's throwing a six pack uh, for that huge thirteen point lead. I don't I don't like that thirteen. So I'm going to try and try and pull him back a little bit, and so he's not doesn't have that huge lead. But like I said, my arm is uh, not as strong during the winter. And he also saw my follow my follow through. I was following through to the right, so I wasn't following through straight to the stake. So it was my, my stupidity. Doing a lot of things wrong. Tired. So I hope you guys like this uh, this format. A lot, lot of stuff going on. And I wanted to put the scoreboards on there to uh, at least... Uh, so it's just so not so chaotic. And at least there's uh, some kind of... Uh,
um, how you want to say, uh, it's not so maddening, like crazy and psychotic. So at least you can tell what the score is. And <coughs> it was a little difficult because uh, Rick and Nate weren't calling out every score. So a few times I had to wait for them to put the score up. No. Check out my Pumas. I got uh, Pumas for the 2020 season. <clears throat> White in front and black in the back. All right, so I already got your four, Rick. All right. Now I got your three. Seven all day. There was a Beloit Horseshoe Club logo. I think there sort of is, but I, I think it's just a, a B, H, and a C with a horseshoe sort of like <coughs> intertwined on there. It's on the uh, it's on the sign out in front. I forgot to tell them about that. Top ringer when I go. And Nate's keeping it pretty tight with Rick down there in the bottom. <laughs> That's going to hurt. Bobby C is going to make me bleed on that one. He's not going to be nice. There you go. Like like I said, it's uh, that's 19. Six is 22. Oh, only four. Good thing. <clears throat> no, not three. Uh, I think it was top ringer one. Like I said, play to 28. That's a good miss, Bobby C. <laughs> and you'll notice what he, he turned to me and he said he was on Nate's Nate's rhythm.
You see, I'm waiting for Rick. I shouldn't even. I shouldn't even throw in between him. I should just wait for him to be completely done. Because then, then I feel like I'm rushing. Like, oh, I got a second. I can. I can throw it real quick. Well, just let him go. Ooh, he got hung it up. That's a couple points. <laughs> she got two points for that. Grab that, would you, Rick? Thank you, Rick. So we got one uh, one shoe that Bobby C threw on, and one that he had to have pulled. Oh. That top ringer one on the top there. There you go. See, those are the conversations right there that I, I would like to uh, have better, better microphones and grab those, grab those conversations. And I'm going to be looking into parabolic mics, see if I can't make one, and actually grab that, uh, grab that conversation, sort of like a spy, spy mic. Threw that one so far away from being a point, and now he's going to throw this one right on. Yep. <clears throat> throws a really bad shoe and then completely regroups and uh, throws it right on. It's all about staying focused 100% of the time. Yeah, do that again, Bob. I dare you. So it does have a tight point, so a ringer to beat. Darn it. <clears throat> Not even close enough for me to get down there and measure it. Darn it. I just really don't want to win this game, I guess. Oh, nice one, Rick. So 
So yeah, Bobby Bobby C can uh, throw one on and one one close and win. Only needs four points. And he does not. <clears throat> So he didn't win it. Just pro still still prolonging it. <clears throat> if you turn up the volume to try and get that uh, conversation pulled in a little bit. The shoes are so loud, banging that it hurts your ears. So, you might be able to hear them. <laughs> you can see right there. I was waiting for waiting for Nate to clear. That's what's taking me so long. So there is a. There's a good thing having uh, four screens here. Come on. Yep, yep. In the year 25-25. So I'm making it a good game at least. I'm not, I'm not throwing that well, but. But uh, at least it's an exciting game. That's the game right there. Definitely need this one on. Darn it. So, so I want to definitely uh, have Bobby C just throw an open pit, but he's been shooting pretty good. That's top ringer. I still got one point, though. And Nate says Bobby C's got six. So that's three ringers, three Bobby C. 28, 25 on that game. Good shooting, Bob. Okay. Let's stay on this one. Let's stay on this one. So that was me and Bobby C. Pretty good game. 28, 25. He wins it with a six pack. I put one on. So three, three ringers, three Bobby C. It's a good closure. Yeah, definitely. Not, not easy to do, but that's the way you want to give yourself a chance to win it. So this, hope you guys like the uh, uh, four box split, split screen. And uh, Rick and Nate are pretty close to finishing their game. Keep watching. Check that out. We'll keep throwing over here. See ya. Rick comes back after throwing. He threw a six back, and Nate picked him up. So that went from 21-14 uh, to 27-14. Rick had to go to the bathroom. <clears throat> We definitely got uh, four points sitting there. So Nate needs to, uh, to stay alive, Nate needs to cap it, throw one closer, or just uh, two six-packs. Actually, looks like he capped it right there. That's it. Either way, don't know if he did cap it or not, but... Oh, no, nope, three Rick, so uh, Nate did not. That's the, that's the problem with the smaller screen. So, hope you guys liked it. Throw down in the comments uh, what you thought about this, okay?
We're going to do a little final, final goodbye, and I'm going to say my goodbyes now. Thanks for watching. Hey, grab a camera. Say goodbye. Hope you guys liked Bye -bye. it. Four player split screen. Bobby C you won it. Who won it on your guys then? Ricky. Ricky won it. 27-14. Alright. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. How you doing? Quicks over here. Glad you found the behind the curtain again. Um, if you're new here and you've just finally found us, go ahead and throw three question marks down in the comments section so I know you have uh, found us and I can talk to you directly. <clears throat> just like I have uh, Todd, Dale, Rick, and Malcolm. I've got four people. And if, uh, if you have Facebook and you want to be in the Facebook group behind the curtain, which is completely private, nobody can see it, it's just the members. And it's not, uh, it's just only members only that actually find me in the, uh, on YouTube and put the three question marks on there. And send me an invite or a request for, in, to, for invitation and I will accept it. You'll see stuff on there that I don't release on the outside of Facebook on my normal, normal profile. And you'll also see previews and uh, a little stuff about my life too. So I think we're this is the third installment. So you have two other ones that you can go back to if you found if you found us for the first time here. Go back to the other two and you'll see what uh, some of the stuff you've missed just in the first two installments. So let's get into it. If you watch that whole thing through, which uh, a lot of people don't, people only watch up to about two minutes and fifty-seven seconds on average of my videos. So if you made it this far, incredible. Thank you for watching. I just want to talk about where it wasn't difficult. It was uh, very time consuming to create the video that I had just done. Just, just to talk to you real quick about it is I have four separate videos on four separate phones uh, for each quadrant. Uh, what I have to do is I first go into iMovie and I put down a background, which is white. And then I put a uh, picture in picture of the very first video that's going to go up in the upper left hand corner, upper left hand corner. And I slide that in there, and then I create the video and save it to my file. With that video, it's a 27, I think it was a 20, 25 minute video. And what I did was saved it to file, and that 25 minutes was, I think, somewhere around three gig, three gigabyte. So uh, right there, I had to create that, center it, do all this stuff, um, think about where it's going to go and how it's going to be centered, <clears throat> so I can fit the rest of the other four on there, plus my scoreboards that you saw on the on the edge. So that was uh, sort of time consuming. I, I uh, saved it. It didn't save right. And so I went to put the other one on there. It was, it was off centered. So I had to like just delete everything, do it again. And the thing is every, every time I put a video in and upload it into my iMovie, that takes time. Uh, usually it's about, it's, it, that's, that's a little quicker. Um, it generally takes about six or seven minutes. <clears throat> but when I save it to file, it's usually, 15 to 20 minutes every time I save it to file. 
and I had to save it four times, and then I also had to add the two scoreboards. So you're thinking that uh, every time I save it, and then I have to re-upload it back into my thing. So it's like I'm constantly back and forth, and uh, I, 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 I almost want to say that that whole video that it took me uh, two days to do, and I also had to do the narration. Um, the scoreboards I did live. Uh, I had the phone next to me, and I watched the video live, and I added the scores. So, um, and that actually, the score is actually a video. So I uh, picture and pictured that onto the superimposed that end of the thing. So I have um, six. I have actually six different uh, movies that you're actually watching because the scoreboard um, being played out is. Uh, I had to sync that up too, so the scores were where they needed it to be. <clears throat> so. And I also tried something different. Uh, I don't know if you noticed it right away. As soon as you came back from the little uh, Quicksilver Sports bumper, you saw the um, player profiles. I thought I'd have some fun with that. I, I noticed that. And uh, I don't know everything about iMovies. I'm, as I get bored with it, I sort of like look around and find new stuff with it. So um, I'm sort of teaching myself with it. And this whole this whole concept is sort of a learning curve for me. So if you liked it, let me know. Um, you can go into uh, the, the Facebook uh, behind the curtain and just go in there and uh, give me a message if you liked it or not, or you know throw it down on uh, on the comment section underneath here. So and also now that I got that done, I do have uh, I think twelve more, uh, ten more videos, and uh, those ten ten videos are with uh, Rick, who is in this group, and Bobby C and uh, Nate. We were playing in a uh, a round robin tournament and all the games that I played uh, all 10 of them you'll be I'll be uploading on the on me on my normal YouTube site here so <clears throat> and also I have the uh, stay ons the uh, uh, high temp stay ons that I'll be doing a review on on soon and uh, I finally got some information on those some different pictures that were ads old old ads i don't know if i don't know if you guys saw those on facebook or not if you're in those uh groups that those came through but i uh, actually have some old ads and what they sold for and some of the things they talked about uh, a couple of them were duplicates so and uh so i'll be putting a video together on a review on that and i'll show you how good they hook uh where their balance point is and uh how much they weigh and we'll talk about that and then afterwards since it's just you and us um, after the high temp stands, I plan on doing uh, Snyder Easy Flips. Um, I have talked to, I try to get in touch with uh, Snus, uh, Sue Snyder, but I have uh, in fact got in touch with her daughter, and her daughter is going to be sending me pictures, videos, and stuff like that. And we, uh, <clears throat> it's not confirmed yet, so I'm not going to really say anything yet, but there, it might be my best video ever. Unless I go to the world tournament, this this might be an incredible video, um, and I'm absolutely honored to pair up with uh, Sue's daughter, and she's going to help me with some different stuff and uh, to make it a really special video. So look for the high temp stay ons uh, soon, and then the Sue, Sue Snyder video, the Snyder Easy Flip video review, and that's about it. That's all I got. Um, I went 16 days without an energy drink. Um, Friday, totally destroyed that. Um, I had some energy drinks. Uh, I think I had uh, energy drinks Saturday morning. I had another one Saturday afternoon. <coughs> I had one today, but I have to definitely get back out of that and uh, start my streak again. Um, so it's, it's, I always tell myself I'm tired. So to uh, beat that, and I drive a lot, so I can't be tired while I'm driving, so that's my excuse where I keep going back to it. And if I, I just, I just got to get to bed more. And uh, when my wife goes to bed, I usually stay up and work on videos. And uh, so I'm trying to get different videos and stuff like that done. I'll, all my ideas caught up, and I start getting to bed earlier and uh, get off the thing because I want my health better. And I want to get rid of this pot belly. You know, it's just, just disgusting. So. Um, I want to thank you, uh, all four of you guys again, for coming in and see this. And anybody new, thank you. 
And uh, just remember, this is something that's not done on YouTube other than right here. So remember that. You are part of something special. You're part of something completely new. And we're on the cutting edge. And it means nothing because it's just four of us. Actually, five of us, if you include me. So, nope. Just so we're just here to have fun. We're not here to uh, try to try to be a, an entrepreneur, but um, just here to have fun. And I thank you for being here and having fun with me. So, thanks a lot. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.